What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be doing something really exciting. So this is something that you've been asking me for a very long time and that's how to do MEP projects and more, more, more specifically how to connect everything in a bathroom, so all of the piping. So I'm just going to be showing you that in this tutorial. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already of course I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, for this project, I'm going to be using the mechanical template. So just click here on the mechanical template. And now uh, here we are. And you can do all of the walls and uh, all of the architecture geometry in uh, Revit MEP or uh, in your mechanical template. But I just prefer to link a project up and then add all of the elements. So I'm just going to be doing that now. So go here to insert uh, a link Revit. And I've already done a simple... Uh, a simple project so I'm, or a simple bathroom project so I'm just going to open that up to show you and as you can see it, it's just a small room and this is our uh, this is our architectural project and we're going to be adding all of the uh, all of the piping and all of the sanitary elements over here so go now to your floor plan and that will be plumbing then you've got plumbing floor plans let's go to plumbing one and just to set up all of your floor plans you can go to one of the elevations and as you can see this is the linked file and the uh, level 2 is uh, down a bit so just go AL for align and just align your level 2 with level 2 and maybe you can lock it in place so you just know that you're all set up so just go now to uh, uh, number one plumbing so this is level one plumbing and now we need to add all of the fixtures so for that uh, you can go here to architecture and we're going to be using components for that and if I move Revit out of the way you can see here I've got a bunch of families and if you want to download these families there are uh, they are up on my patreon so that's first link in the description and you can download this whole completed file or uh, just download these families so uh, I'm just going to select all of these families and uh, drag them over into Revit. So just wait for a second while Revit updates all of the families to the current version. So because they're usually saved in earlier versions. Okay, now I can maximize this on screen and now I can start placing elements. So just go here to component and then here we've got, for example, this sink. So I'm just going to place it over here and uh, make sure that you're on a uh, fine or uh, medium but if you're on course it's usually going to look like this it's it's just silly so i just like to set everything on fine when doing these plumbing projects okay moving on uh, let's go here to this is our water heater so let's open that up go into 3d and uh, let's just place it over here like that okay now let's go back into level one plumbing uh, let's see what else we have. So component, open up this drop menu. We've got our uh, toilet. So and I'm just going to be placing it over here underneath our water heater. And, and now let's go to component and let's just add the shower as well. So here's my shower and I'm just going to place it like this. And I'm just going to be using the align tool to align this in place and align it to this as well. Okay, so if I go into 3D, this is what we have. So this is what our project looks like. Okay, now it's time to do the plumbing and let's just set this to fine. But if I go over here and select perhaps the shower, you're going to see I've got this inlet for hot water and for cold water. And here I've got this outlet for uh, our sewer system. Same thing here for the bathroom or for the water closet. We've only got cold water, of course. And here we've got for the sewer system, our water heater it gets a bunch of uh, inlets because it's got electrical uh, plumbing here we've got some ventilation but the ones that we're going to be using are these for uh, hot and cold water and here for this uh, sink and our hand wash basin as you can see it's only got this outlet for the out for the uh, for the sewer system but we don't have any uh, in uh, pipes so how, how do we fix this problem well what we need to do is we need to go here to component and i've actually got a little uh, battery system let me just search for it i just loaded it in so i'm just going to select uh, this one and as you can see now you can place it here uh, so like that and now if we select it you can see it's got hot and cold water uh, and I apologize my terminology is a bit off I'm not really I don't know much about plumbing but I know how to do it in Revit 
Okay, so now it's time to start connecting it all and doing all of the piping. So how do you do that? Well, you need to go to level one and uh, just to go into VR for a second and make sure you set the view depth to unlimited uh, just because uh, you're going to be viewing uh, stuff that's below uh, your floor if you start uh, adding all of the elements so just make sure to do that okay so let's uh, connect first the hot water for the water heater so I'm just going to go here from the water here and find this connection for hot water select that and now as you can see I've got this pipe so I'm just going to make sure that it's a vertical uh, connection and here for the offset Let's just change this to something like, I don't know, one meter. So that's 1000 millimeters. And then we can go uh, like that into the wall. And now we can start going towards this uh, shower. And now if we select the shower, we need to see our, here's our hot water. And let's just extend it like that at the same level of 1000. I think I had 1000.9. Okay, that was stupid, but you get what I'm doing. Okay, so now if I go into 3D, this is what we get. As you can see now, this is connected here to our shower. The hot water is connected. Now we need to connect the hot water to uh, our sink. And as you can see, everything lit up in red just to tell us that it's all connected uh, properly. So let's go back over here. Let's do the hot water and let's give it an offset of something like 400 millimeters because it's below the sink. So let's go like that into the wall then continue off over here and now maybe let's extend this just like that and yeah let's see okay and now if we go here into 3d uh, i'm just going to cancel out of this as you can see this is what we get so it's automatically connecting the hot water okay so now let's do the cold water so the cold water is going to come be coming in from somewhere so i'm just going to be uh, going into level one so let's say that uh, cold water is just coming up from this side so just do cold water and uh, yeah we can make this a lot smaller so if our hot water is at 15 yeah let's just do the same thing here so let's do 15 okay and drop this down to 400 millimeters Okay, go into the wall, and now I'm just going to head over here. And just go over here underneath the water heater, or actually, let's connect it all the way here to our shower. And then here our shower can get connected to that. Okay, and now if I go into 3D, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's going directly into the shower, and let's just extend it over here into the unknown where it's connected to probably uh, the rest of the plumbing system. Okay, and let's just connect it to our water here. So go back into plumbing water here. Where's our cold water? Is it this? Here it is. So cold water and let's connect it to this. So let's give it an offset of 400 as we did. And let's connect it. Okay, there we go. So if I go into 3D, now even this cold water is connected and we should also connect our uh, uh, our toilet so let's just go like that kind of like that and connect it down let's just go here into plumbing to see where this ends up okay yeah and now if we go into 3d yeah this is what we get so this is connected Okay, uh, this, <laughs> maybe it looks a bit wrong, so uh, it's going through the uh, through the toilet, so maybe we should, yeah, maybe we should fix that up a bit. So, uh, just try to select this. Okay, and if you can select it, <laughs> go into 3D, and maybe go into wireframe, just to be able to select this. Yeah, let's bring this up at like, uh, 120 okay okay this looks a bit better now and now we can connect this up so move this to 120 okay this isn't working uh, the way I wanted it so let's change this up so you have to kind of play around as you can see you can't it's it's not that uh, as simple as I would like it to be so let's move this out of the way here 
Now we can go back to our toilet and kind of connect this here. And now move this like that. And hopefully that connection will look right. Okay, there we go. So this looks right. And here just uh, we need to reconnect our uh, uh, this faucet. So it's going over here, but uh, we need to just att attach that to this upper pipe. So let's go here to plumbing, search for that. Yeah, just kind of attach it like this and it automatically makes the uh, connection all the way up here. So as you can see, it's uh, it's a bit tricky. It's not really that easy to do. So you have to kind of play around to connect everything. But as you can see now, we've got everything connected. So we've got cold water for the sink, for the water here, and for our shower, and for the closet. And we've got hot water coming back from the uh, from our uh, heater uh, all the way to the shower and all the way to our uh, little sink. Okay, so, uh, and I'm just going to be showing you how to do uh, now the outlets. So let's go to the water closet, level one plumbing. And here, let's go with this out. And it's actually a large pipe. So uh, let's bring it underground. So let's do, this is the reason why I set that VR to unlimited. So let's do this at minus 50, I don't know. Kind of like that. And then let's do it at minus 200 going outside okay and now if i go into 3d yeah as you can see that's what we get so now let's connect uh, the rest of these elements so let's go to the shower so plumbing select the shower and here's that out and uh, what's this down at minus 200 and let's just connect that Okay, there we go, and let's do the same thing for this uh, for this sink. If I can only select that outlet, okay, here it is, and uh, let's just go down to minus one twenty, or no, minus two two hundred, or did they do two thousand? <laughs> Let me just go into three D to check that. Yeah, it's minus two hundred. Okay, so let's go back level one. Okay, select this over here and minus 200 and just connect it like that let's see what that looks like okay and it works okay so there you go it's uh, kind of tricky to connect everything and uh, you have to kind of play around of course if you know how to connect installations it's going to be a lot easier but you get the point so we've pretty much connected all of these elements and if i go into realistic yeah, as you can see, it looks really good. We've got our hot water, cold water, we've got our sewer system, everything is connected and everything is working properly. Okay, if you want to download these families, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Uh, this is looking really cool. I hope you have learned something new about Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.